Hello everybody and welcome back to Retro Weekend. This is new, look at this. I haven't played this before now. For anyone who's thinking, well this looks like a weird version of Little King's Story. Yeah, that game is broken and does not work. I'm going to try and go back to it later, but I've had this game for a while. It is a new game. But it is very much a retro style. So I think it's going to fit perfectly on Retro Weekend. So let's jump straight into a new game. So and here we go. Watch with the gloomy look. Left someone dear behind? Uh, yeah. You could say that. Been there. So, Nord Sunday. You better buckle up. We've got some nasty weather coming in. I do like it. I know it's more money, but I do like it when they put the effort in to get voice actors. I heard. Sadly, caring about storms is a luxury people in my line of work are rarely afforded. Even if it's just like the programmers, etc. No, oh, and what kind of work is that? Special agent, violent crimes, Central Bureau. Well, shit. <laughs> Plus, I've put it on so that it has to wait for me to push the button before the speech continues. Because I didn't know it was going to have voice. So, <laughs> okay, here we are. Apparently. Yeah, here we are. You there. This is a restricted crime scene. At ease, constable. Hi there, I'm Vera. Your superior briefed you about me, right? You're Agent England? Well, I'm Gabriel. So, Gabriel, murders are rare in places like this, right? Uh, you can say that again. Yeah, I get it. Mind telling me about the attack? The victim is Carl Oscarson, age 33. Stabbed to death by an unknown assailant. Right, okay. He worked here as a carpenter and was found early this morning by a co-worker who's sitting over there by the window. Okay. Got it. Ooh, okay. She can advance three distinct personality traits. Your choices will influence all three, affecting the course of the story and the tools at your possession. Disposal. I changed it to possession. Advancing one personality trait weakens the other two, so make sure you uh, make your choices carefully. Okay. Sorry about the state of the crime scene. We're not used to this sort of thing. Okay, I'm going to tell you is that par. Evidentially, the entire room should be. Her body would have decreased those. Uh, I don't worry about it, it looks like. Uh, oh, good. don't worry about it, Constable. This looks, uh, quite typical. Don't hold back on my account, ma'am. I can handle criticism. Good to hear. Now, give me a second while I examine the body. Sure, I'll be here. Good, okay. Well, this choice amplified... her empathic... empathic side. But with many instances like this, strengthen one person that you trade at the expense of the other two. Okay. So, is this where you use your x-ray vision? My what? Come on, you have to be aware of the rumors. How agents like you are supposed to be equipped with some kind of advanced cybernetics? Ooh, I've got fancy cybernetics, have I? I'm assuming that's what some of these are down here. Um, let's just say I'm good at what I do. That should be a nice strict no part size. I'd love to talk about it. If you're breaking the rules. I'd love to talk about that, Gabriel, but I'd be breaking the rules. Sorry. So there. <laughs> okay. Use the left mouse on talk and attract objects. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Okay. That's good. Once in the inventory, I want to examine it. Okay. Oh, yeah, there you go. Look, lockers. Nice. You see, that's always handy because 
in some of these games you just don't know what there is to interact with. Aha, so this shows where I am on the got a handgun, I've got a notebook, and I've got a photo. Alright, we've got multiple knife sized stab wounds to the chest. Okay. I don't see a murder weapon, so I take it none was found at the scene? That's right. All knives and sharp tools in the building have been accounted for, too. It looks like the victim was attacked directly from the front. I don't see any major defense wounds, so this was either a surprise attack or the victim knew the perpetrator. Right, okay. What about any potential suspects, Constable? Did Carl have enemies? None as far as we know. He seemed to be well liked among the guys here, but the man who found him might know more. There was a photo in his chest pocket. Woohoo! Oh, left corner, show your augments. Oh, here we go, yeah. Um, experiment with it with. to learn how they work. Will there be additional tutorials? Oh, nice. So, depending on what we say, depends on what we unlock. Lovely. Okay, well, let's get this this murder worked out. So, we have a bloody photo. It's a photo. bloody photograph of Carl and a young woman, taken fairly recently by the look of it. He's holding hands with the woman, but I can't discern her face. Too much damage to the photo. She's wearing a brass necklace. Could be relevant. Right, okay. My picture of Alex. <sighs> I miss him. Okay. Um, so, before we mess around with these, let's have a little chat to the worker. See what he has to say. Be quick and to the point. Take your time. Begin by asking about his bloody hands. Um, I'm going to give hey him there. time. What's your name? I'm Alfred. Carl's friend. Well, we were friends. Now he's gone. Are you doing okay? But he's still here. Do you Look, have somebody right to there. talk to after this? He's laying on the floor here. I'll be okay. Please just ask your questions so I can go home. Alright, your notebook contains two sections notes and people. You can click on arrows in the corner to talk to them. You can show inventory items during dialogue by simply clicking on them. Why don't you tell me about what happened this morning? Okay. I get up early for my morning smoke. I keep my smokes in my locker, so I came in here. I saw Carl lying in the corner. It was still kind of dark, so I thought he'd fallen and hurt himself. I ran over to him. That's when I noticed the blood and... I guess I was kind of in shock, so I tried to stop the bleeding, but then I felt how cold he was. I yelled for help. The guys came running, and then Josef, our foreman, sent someone to go get the police. A likely story. Okay. When was the last time you saw Carl alive? Late last night, or around midnight. He stayed up with us playing cards, which is unusual. Unusual? How so? Well, it was rare for Carl to stick around in the evenings. He usually went out by himself. Oh. Do you know where he used to go? No idea. He didn't talk much about that. Maybe he went to the canteen to meet some friends. Anyway, Carl seemed a bit anxious last night. He seemed distracted. Got it. Thank you. Okay, so I've asked him about that. So obviously I'm sure that's Carl and that's okay, but that's himself. What we can ask him about is the photo. Have a look at this picture. Do you know who the woman is? Uh, yeah, that's just some old girlfriend of Carl's from ages ago. Is that so? It doesn't look that old. At least Carl looks about the same. Guess the guy aged well. Any other questions? Right, well that's definitely dodgy. That's enough questions for now. Okay. That'll do for now. Okay, because now we're going to look at these, what we've got. Biometric, we've got biometric analyzer, muscle boost, we're not going to need that now. Forensic scanner. Drag and drop the scanner, move it around, anomalies will light up. Okay. 
Hey. Oh yeah, look. Nothing on any of the lockers. Yeah, the blood on his hands, we know are there. Oh, analyzing, analyzing. Post mortem, huh? That would suggest that he likely only touched the body after death. Right, okay, that's interesting. I thought I heard them make another noise. There we go. Oh, what's happening? What's happening at the top? Collected scanner samples will be added to your data vault. This can be attached to the scanner for targeted search. Unlike the smart scanner, samples will allow detection in areas with a lot of contamination. Well, that you won't be able... Right, okay. So now we've got... Smart scan is what we're doing. We've got Carl's bio to see if there's any more of his DNA anywhere. And we've got the blade shape. Hmm. Let's start with the blade shape. There, so that's obviously on him. Okay. I'm going to assume that this is going to be used later on to determine what the blade shape was. Carl's bio, so that's obviously going to be there. Ah, this is his locker. Okay, that must be Carl's locker. Yeah. Oh. That's obviously from the hands again. Yeah, okay. Let's see what's in his locker, shall we? Locked. Doesn't look incredibly strong, though. I might be able to get it open with enough force. Ah, oh, so I am going to be able to, to use my muscle boost. Well, let's click on this first and just see what this is. Your biometric analyzer will automatically lock on to nearby targets. You can also click the look icon on your target to force the analyzer to stay connected. The biometric output is display emotional anomalies such as so that I should have done this when I was talking to him because I would have seen anything change yeah it, it would have changed when I was talking to him I don't know if I can now ok well that's good to know Increase strength for a minute of time, interact with objects before the timer runs out, or it needs to recharge. Jeez, try not to wreck the place. No reason for alarm. I just needed to get this locker open. There was a piece of paper in one of the inner pockets. Okay. A pair of large boots with dirt under them. Right, okay, but we'll have to scan the boots. We'll scan the whole lot. Okay. Got a smart scan first. Let's just see what comes up. Here we've got booties. Okay. 
There you go. Ooh, we can now got we can now look at boot prints. Okay, so there's no boot prints in here. That's weird. Um, let's just have a quick look. So it's just his jacket by the look of it. That's what it's saying. Okay. Um... What's this? The note looks like it was written by a woman. It reads, Hi Doofus, you're registered now. Go try it out. Remember how you totally flipped the day I first came to Nordsend? Kisses. Right, so. We're going to have a little more talk with him. A few more questions, if I may. Do you know anything about saffron plants? Nope. I know we grow them in Nordsend, but that's it. Are you sure about this woman? Yes, I told you. Old girlfriend from before. Look, I got this job because I have great instincts. So it's a quick And thing. I know that you were lying to me. Maybe you're doing it for a good reason. Or to protect someone. But all I want is to catch Carl's murderer. If you had nothing to do with what happened, you need to come clean now. For both of your sakes. I'm, I'm sorry. I gave him a promise. The lady in the photo, Carl is still seeing her. Well, was, I suppose. Why wouldn't you tell me that from the beginning? It was a secret. Carl said they would both get in trouble if anybody knew. Why would they get into trouble? An affair? I didn't ask, but yeah, it could be. All right. Tell me everything you know about this woman. Carl said she lived somewhere north of town, but that's all I know. Okay. I believe you. Yay, we used this. <laughs> okay. I could go and follow up on the saffron lead now, but I should check out the dormitory first. Right, okay. Let's just ask you about this. Do you know who this. wrote this note to Carl? Afraid not. I don't recognize the handwriting. Okay, cool. Now, when I click on the anomaly, I don't know if I have to pick a response before the anomaly disappears off the screen. I think I do. So I thought I'd answer quickly, just in case. It'd be weird. What's your opinion on the policeman over there? Uh, Gabriel is a good man. He's been a cop in Nordsum for quite a while. I might as well Can get rid of these as well. Can you tell me a little bit about Carl? Sure. I've known him since I started working here four years ago. We instantly hit it off. He, he had a great sense of humor. He used to be so cheerful, you know? Always kidding around, always with a smile on his face. But then about a year ago, Something happened. He became absent-minded and humorless. I know people can change, but this came seemingly from nowhere. Huh. What do you think caused this shift? I'm not sure, but maybe something to do with his secret relationship? Perhaps all that secrecy started to take its toll on him. Okay. That's enough questions for now. Okay. He is anxious, but he's going to be he's found a dead friend. Okay, well this, I mean, this was a red herring. There was nothing to do Looks with this. Looks pre-collapse. Basically a glorified corner lamp. There's a coin slot on the side with a coin stuck in it. I can probably pull it out using some extra strength. Oh. -ho. Got the coin. We have antique coin. It's an old pre-collapse coin. No one would accept it as payment today. Will the scanner work on it? No, I don't think I can do that. Okay, um... We can go to the dormitory. We'll quickly chat to Gabriel. Gabriel. Yeah? Do you know anything about a woman who was seeing Carl? I'm afraid not. I didn't know Carl myself. I should be using the... What can you tell me about yourself? 
Not much to tell. I grew up here in Nordsen, and all my family is here. The commissary is my uncle. He's always been the one who encouraged me to become a policeman. So, how long have you been a cop? Eight years now. Wow, eight? Must have started young. Yep, started as a trainee at age 16. Hmm, I see. Do you know anything about saffron plants? I know we grow them here in Nordsen, but I'm not sure exactly where. We have vegetables all over. Okay. Do you know who the woman in this photo is? Too hard to tell. Fair enough. I found this in Carl's coat. What do you make of it? I'm not sure. But it's a bit strange that the person who wrote this couldn't just tell him face to face. Maybe they didn't want to risk being seen together. Or the notes author needed to leave in a hurry. Yeah, could be. I don't need to know his opinion on that. Oh, okay. Alright, well there you go. Okay, that's all I need for now. We've done everything we can do here. Very well, Agent. And we are... Yeah, we've got a, a nice bunch of leads, I think. We're going to go to the dormitory first. Hey, I'm going to go check out the dorm. Where's Carl's bed? Turn left and then go straight. I left the light on so it'd be easy for you to find. Gotcha. Be right back. So let's have a little look in his room. Here we are. Okay, so we've got bag. Bunk beds. It's a desk, a chest. Can't interact with these ones. He did say the light was on, so it would be these ones. First things first, we're going to do a scan. We'll do the smart scan first. So nothing on the desk or the chest. Or that there. Okay, so nothing really. So we'll go for Carl's bio. There we go. <laughs> so the bottom bed was his bed then. Alright, so that's obviously his bag. Thank you. Ooh. That's weird. Huh. There are a lot of prints around a panel on the air duct. Yeah. Okay, so we've checked. So we've got the bag. Right, so just the DNA, we've got his bag. Dirty laundry. Smells like machine oil. Right, okay. We've got the desk. Pens and paper. Nothing out of the ordinary. And we have this. The panel is screwed on tight. I'll need some way of getting it loose. Aha. Uh -huh. Alright, now let's carry on. With the boot print, see if there's, see if he came in here with the boots. No, the boot print's going to be for when we get outside, I think. Let's have one more check here. Whee! No, okay. Can I? Sure, I could try to use brute force. Okay, so she's not going to do it. Right. So we need... Could I maybe use the, the coin? I already searched that. I've used coins, yeah, to unscrew screws before. There was a small key hidden inside the duct. Ooh. I think I'm almost done here. I should just talk to Gabriel before I go. Right, there we go. That's thanks for telling me. <laughs> Clean clothes and sheets. Nothing interesting. Good, okay. I knew it was there, because you see... Boop! Ha ha! Okay, cool. Lovely. So, um, we now have a strange key. Hey, I think I'm done here. Oh, okay. 
Mind sharing your findings? It seems like the murder could be tied to a secret relationship Carl had with a woman. But I'm leaving all options open. Sounds reasonable. Do you have a lead to follow up on? Yes. I have reason to believe that Carl recently passed through an area with saffron plants somewhere in Nordsund. Maybe I can correlate that with Carl's movements to the north of town when seeing that woman. Good. Meanwhile, we'll transport the body to the morgue and have an autopsy performed as soon as possible. Do you want us to keep the area sealed off? No need. I'm done here and won't come back. You can let the men get back to work. Very well. I'll let them know. By the way, how do I get to the police station from here? Just head straight east outside. You'll see it. Got it. See you later. Lovely. Okay, and there we go. We are now out. So that is where I'm going to leave it for today. We have got a very good grasp of the of the first murder of our first um, case of how to use all the different uh, tools. Because you see, I can even click it out here. Go boot print. Are there any boot prints? Are there any boot prints? Are there any boot prints? <laughs> We can do a smart scan. So, is there anything anywhere? Anything anywhere? Anything anywhere? Um, so, yeah, this is going to be fun. We're going to um, work out the uh, the murder suspects. We're going to do our best to solve all the cases, and we're going to continue. So, thank you so much for watching. This has been Whispers of a Machine, and this is going to be the retro weekend Saturday video going forward and when we finish this there's a chance I might try and go back to Little King's story but you know if it don't work then there's very little I can do about that um, check my channel tomorrow because I'm going to be playing another Amiga game please like and subscribe I will see you again next time